One of the most extraordinary food revolts started here, in a small town in Yorkshire. There was a whole group of people who were worried about the state the world was in, all the resources getting used up, what our children would inherit in the future, um, and we could see that the environmental conferences weren't doing anything and nothing was happening. Governments were doing nothing, scientists were doing nothing. So we decided we'd stop being victims and just go out and do something ourselves. I'm a volunteer with Incredible Edible Tomadon. We are all unpaid volunteers. We all worried about the state of things and decided we would do something. And we decided we use food because food crosses all cultures and creeds. So we thought if we'd use food, we would reach everybody. So the idea was hatched around a kitchen table which was covered in food. And somebody shouted out, why don't you just call it Incredible Edible Tobadon? And it's a mouthful, but it's stuck. Most of the townsfolk thought we were crazy. Somebody actually wrote a letter to the local newspaper and said, these people are crazy. They are planting food in public places and somebody will come along and take it all. Well, yes, exactly, that's why we're doing it. It did take 18 months before people would start picking um, because it's a very English thing. They thought it was stealing and it wasn't quite right, but now we have no surplus. We have to beg apples for Harvest Festival because we don't have an apple left. There are hundreds of incredible edible groups now in towns all across the world, from New Zealand to Africa. There's an incredible edible Benin. There are four, I think, in Manchester, three in London. Apples and black currants are the big thing. They adore that. Mint, people pick a lot of mint. When we first planted kale, people weren't taking it because they didn't understand what it was. So we had to put up a recipe of how to use kale and now that is massively picked, if ever we put that anywhere. We're trying to show that food can be picked straight off a tree and eaten. I eat my way round town, it isn't dirty, I haven't died. And now the children are teaching the parents. A neighbour came up to me and said, you've caused me no end of trouble. And I said, why? She said, well, my son has come home and said, we have to plant an apple tree. So it's, the children have really taken it up. Eat naked vegetables, buy naked vegetables, have potatoes with dirt on and carrots with tops on. It's a much healthier way to live. It's better for the planet, it's better for the environment, and it's better for you. The message is simple. We have to stop wasting food. And instead of looking to the future for solutions, for once we need to step back into the past. And by doing so, we may be able to solve the problems of the future.